Welcome to another video in PLC Basic Tutorial. Today, we will use Mitsubishi GX Works 2 in making PLC ladder program, and we will connect it to factory I.O. for simulation. By using Mitsubishi OPC server, we will able to control the factory I.O. scene by choosing OPC as the driver. So let's begin. First, let's take a look at the environment of our project. There are two meters conveyor connected together. As we energize manually the first conveyor or the pusher conveyor, the box will travel till it reach the reflective sensor. As the box pass by the reflective sensor, the stop blade will rise to stop the next box. After a period of time, the stop blade will go down and let the next box to enter the second conveyor. OK, in Mitsubishi GX Works 2, let's open the save program for the conveyor. For the start button, I use rising edge to set the conveyor. And stop falling edge to reset. When rising edge for reflective sensor activate, stop blade will activate it too. And then when diffuse falling edge is energize, it will reset the conveyor pusher. Let's simulate the program and set up the OPC server. On your desktop, open MX OPC server. And let's start the configuration. Do a right click, and choose new MX device. And then, click configure button, MX transfer window will appear. Click on the drop down box, and choose GX simulator 2. After that, click on CPU series and choose the CPU that you use in the program. Click next. Add a comment on your project and then click finish. Click OK and save. Right click on the device on the tree control of the configurator screen and select new data tag from the pop-up menu. In the name field, type a name for the new tag. Set the parameters for the I.O. address and data access rights. When you have finished configuring the tag properties, click the save button. The new tag appears under the device tree control. Repeat the procedure, to tag the other inputs and outputs. The I.O. driver configurator is a client application to the I.O. server with a graphical user interface. The MXO PC configurator accesses the I.O. server, and lets you view and modify properties of communication channels, devices, data blocks, and data tags. By default, the configurator will automatically arrange your data tags into blocks so that they can be read from the device in the most efficient way. Once you are finished with your device and data tag configuration, you can start the MXOPC runtime driver by clicking the start button on the standard toolbar of the MXOPC configurator. Check the quality of each tag, it should be in good condition. If bad, open the task manager and look for MXOPC and restart the server. Now, let's go to the factory I.O and configure the driver to connect it to the MXO PC. Open the driver. In the drop down box, choose OPC. Click configure. On the OPC server, click the drop down box and click on Mitsubishi MXO PC. Click browse all item. Now, drag all inputs and outputs on the server block. Ok, all done. 
Let's test the program and run the conveyor. GX Works 2 is successfully connected to factory I.O. using MXO PC. See you again on our next video about PLC basic tutorial. This is Third Martian, thank you and have a good day.